Things often go wrong, so it's very reasonable to me that instead of lions being vegetarians on the ark, Okay, so I managed to get about like to the third page kind of of my paper and it's like one pretty much so I'm gonna go to bed early but I'm gonna set up my bag for like my little beach trip. Because I got an extension for this paper and I was aiming to get it done Wednesday but I told my teacher that I'd been feeling a lot better but I definitely need to have like, boundaries in terms of um I love this song but I need to make boundaries in terms of like how I do my work so I definitely can see myself finishing this Saturday Sunday I just need to dedicate some time in the morning but I'm gonna pack my bag so I'm gonna look real cute and I just want to say like I was texting my mom I really like the social media break like Honestly, I could do this forever. I didn't realize, like, I think social media always made me so stressed out and just, like, not having it. I don't feel like I have to prove anything to anyone. I just talk with, like, my friends. <laughs> So, is it here? Yeah. This fucking bird? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the bird is just like, the there's a whoop on the window. There's a window screen cell. here. He said, anything. I'm gonna make as much noise as possible. <laughs> <laughs> calling, not calling your phone. Listen, it's springtime. The birds Damn, sing. He's gone. Oh, see, he knows his place. Luna, you good? Luna? <laughs> Luna? You alright? <laughs> Luna. It's gone. Luna is gone. It's gone. It's, it's gone, gone, baby boy. <laughs> I talk with strangers and I've been learning a lot about people. I wouldn't have otherwise. Like, I don't think I recorded this, but there's this place I like to eat at called uh, Gyro World. And, you know, I had this great talk with the cashier and at first it started because he made a joke about like I should put down my drink. It was like, no, I, I, I think that's just the woman thing. And then we had this whole conversation about his wife and how she just won't put things down. And I think he was Greek just because of the mannerisms or Hispanic or something. I don't know, but like Mediterranean. I'm totally not sure. But yeah, he was just really friendly. And we just had a whole conversation as I was waiting for the food and we we're talking about the sunlight. But I compliment because I've ordered from this place so many times. I just, I don't know. It was just such a moment. I was like, sir, I just would like to say I really love the hard work that you guys have put in because I'm a graphic designer and I love the packaging. I love, you know, what you guys have done with the bags and every little detail. I've done the work of both being in a restaurant and being a designer. So I know how hard that branding is, you know? That's a lot of hard work and people just take that for granted. There's so much thought that goes into like making the environment and it was really lovely. Love the decor, there's like gorgeous Greek paintings scattered around and it was just really nice. I went to the place I ordered so much food from. That just made me think. I wouldn't have done that. Like, I don't want this all to be like some kind of humble brag. I just feel so proud of myself. This is the the look I'm going with. So like this is matured progression. I'll show a picture of it, but like look from something I did when I was like 19. I look back, I did like that shirt, but I feel now that I'm getting a little older, it's not quite a look that I'm more into. <laughs> It's a vibe! Woo.
Wait, is that it? No, it's not. But I'm just vibing with my flamingo. I, I feel like the most colorful person right now. It's a little weird, but I love it. Okay, so I didn't realize how cold it is around here. It's probably just because of the water. Because everywhere else was warm, but we made it to Brighton. Like, look, Brighton. Train's leaving, but we made it. I didn't think I'd be the type to complain. So I asked for cheese pancakes with my thing and then they went ahead and then I went back and I'm like, no, where's my thing? And they said, well, you ordered this and this. That's a separate thing. I'm like, no, I ordered it together. I had to leave because they were just making me feel upset. I wanted to cry because I had, you know, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I got, I got my meal. That's all that matters. So this is a post edit reflection on what i meant with i didn't like the yelling so but i believe it was something racist that happened to me because i went into this restaurant right and they i asked for takeout option and i spent about 15 minutes explaining what takeout is and so they already were giving me a hard time and i Brighton is a very Russian demographic, so when I went inside the restaurant and a few minutes after my order was taken, a Russian couple came in and they asked for the same thing of a takeout option, and they were immediately accommodated, so definitely there was a difference in treatment. After I received my meal, on the receipt, I couldn't obviously dispute it because they didn't take down the names, they just had the price but didn't have the names of the meals i ordered so when i went back to argue i don't mean to cause an inconvenience however where's my cheese pancakes with my salmon they immediately started yelling at me in front of the customer saying like do you like you know those are two separate things what do you want us to do do you want us to like just give you a free meal and i said no i had ordered two things and they tried telling me that you know i i I never really believe in the customer is always right attitude. I felt like I was being discriminated against, but that's what happened. All right, so I cooled down after I called my mom just about what happened, but I did it. I'm here. I also did not think this through of my outfit. I mean, I have a sweater, so I'll be okay. I think it was going to be a lot warmer, <laughs> to be honest, but it's okay. Matters is I'm here. I got my little food. I got Popeyes. Popeyes never done me wrong. And then I just saw the cashier out you I'm so sorry. Like, I completely forgot in the menu of Popeyes. Matters. It's the food. So I gotta tell myself it's the vibes. Okay, so I got myself a little situated. This might have been the worst way I could have had a beach day, but Stuart's here. Now, I have a feeling someone's gonna laugh because. I'm such a hypocrite. I never, listen, I deserve it. You're right. Sometimes I don't need to be so bougie. Popeyes is where it's at. Cause look at that. And then versus, what a bullshit that these people gave me. $18 with a $6 tip versus what you could get for 12 bucks at Popeyes. I don't need to be, I guess, so uppity at times.
a new game. Laughing and a running, hey, hey. Skipping and a jumping. In the misty morning, fog with our, our hearts are thumping in you. Brown eyed girl. You, my brown eyed girl. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, people probably think I'm crazy, but like. <laughs> I'm living my life and I'm so happy. <laughs> like that's why I started crying because I'm like, I think I found the day I love myself. I'm so great. I don't know why I ever thought that like, I'm not. Please like and subscribe, we're ending it here. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. And go pop five. <laughs>